<laughs> Honey Heart C. Mini fans, get ready for more Star Stable, so come riding with me as we do some quests. I've got my cute little Dalmatian puppy in my little bag. Isn't she so cute? All right, so let's see what we have around here for quests to do. Let's chat with Josh. Hey, God, I'm so glad that you're here. I could really use your help right now. What happened? Someone stole my trophies. Every last one of them. All the prizes I won from all my competitions, all gone. When I got here this morning, everything was just like normal. So I set up the pole bending race as usual, cleaned up a bit, and got a cup of coffee. It was then that I noticed that something was wrong. I kept all my things in that wagon, and someone had been in and trashed it all. <gasps> That's horrible! And I've got no idea who it could have been. The only thing I know is that he or she must have been here during the night. As I checked out the wagon before I left yesterday evening, and everything looked fine. Wait, what's that on the ground? Some kind of footprint in the sand. Maybe it's a clue, Agata. You'll follow the trail of footprints. Good. Okay, so we are gonna follow the tracks and see where they lead. Somebody stole his trophies right out of his wagon? That's so mean. Okay, so let's see here. Let's follow over here. So here's by the pole bending race. Where could it lead? Wait a minute. What is this? A little bit of green fabric that has become stuck on the post. Green fabric? Who could have done that? You found a piece of fabric that could have been from the thief's clothes? I don't know what we should do about this bit of fabric. Maybe it's an important clue, but all this business with Miss Mysteries and thieves isn't really my thing. I'm more of a cowboy type. Maybe you can chat to Jenna about it instead. If you and her work together on this, then I bet you can find out who stole my trophies for sure. Please? My trophies are so important to me. So let's go talk to Jenna and show her this fabric, because this is just so weird. There is just so much weird stuff going on here. Here she is. What's that? Someone's stolen all of Josh's trophies? So there's a thief on the loose in Moreland. I've had my suspicions for a while now. Conrad's hammer, Josh's trophies, Tan's watch, Mrs. Holdworth's pie, all gone in a mysterious way. It just can't be a coincidence. Something in their stories should tell us who the thief is. I can feel it. Do you remember what they all said? Conrad said he was visited by a mysterious man. It must have been the thief. Conrad said that the thief had a hood and dark glasses, which means he couldn't tell us any more about how the thief looked. Hmm, we've got the green fabric you found at Josh's place which must come from the thief's clothing, don't you think? Tan didn't have anything to tell us about how her watch disappeared, but I wonder if it wasn't the same thief who took Miss Holdsworth pie. It's not very valuable. But to Miss Holdsworth, she thinks her pies are worth like a million dollars. We need to put our heads together if we're gonna solve this mystery. Come on, let's kick some ideas around. Agata, I think the stories from the witnesses might give us a few clues as to who the thief might be. Help me remember what they said. Whose story should we go over? Let's start with Conrad. Do you remember how the crook looked, Agata? Hooded sweatshirt in shades. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, so the thief wore a hooded sweatshirt and had dark glasses. All right, let's think about Mrs. Holdsworth. I reckon the thief was hungry and could smell Mrs. Holdsworth's freshly baked pies, and the temptation must have been too great. Wind usually blows towards the sea. Where do you think it's most likely that the thief was heading around? <gasps> the beach! Just what I was thinking. The fabric you found at Josh's place must have come from the thief's clothes, and it was green. So the thief must have had green clothes on. I think we cracked it. Now we know who the thief is. <gasps> who is it? Ha! Huh, of course, it's obvious when you think about it. Is it Justin? It just has to be one of those shady types who are always hanging around down there. Dark horse camp, ooh. They've got green hooded tops. They always wear dark glasses. Plus, when the wind blows, everyone on the beach can smell Mrs. Holdsworth's baking. Now we just need to work out which one of them it was. You can hardly tell the difference between them, so I don't suppose it'll be easy. Ride over to Dark Horse Camp for more clues. If anyone tries to stop you, tell them you'll ring the police if they're unhelpful. Okay, so let's go check for clues. Ooh, here we go. Hopefully Hopefully nobody bothers us or anything and we don't have to get the police involved. We can probably figure this out on our own. We should be able to. Jenna's pretty smart. I got it. We got it together. So let's ride on down to the beach. There's Mrs. Holdsworth. Mm, yep, I can smell her bacon, her pies already. Is that apple? Peach? Orange cobbler? Okay, are there any clues around here? Yeah, this is a little bit weird over here. Dark green containers, like shipment containers. <gasps> There's a guy right here. Ooh, I don't know. Should we go talk to him? Look at these guys hanging out. Ooh, what do you want? You're looking for a thief? No thieves here. Dark Corn does not tolerate any illegal activity. Especially not illegal activity that gets you caught. <laughs> uh, forget that I said that last bit. Get out of here now. Ah, okay, I'm out of here. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Did not mean to talk to you. Maybe we should talk to one of the other guys. Ooh, like this one. Hang on. You think one of us is a thief, huh? Watch out, girly. If you don't get out of here double quick, I'll call the police and report you. 
you for trespassing. Uh, well, forget about it. We don't need to get the police involved. I'm sure we can sort this out between ourselves, just you and I. So you say someone's stolen a bunch of stuff from different people in Moreland, huh? All your clues point to it being someone from here, wearing a green hoodie and a baseball hat and gloves. Ooh, or like this guy, look at this dude! Whoa. Fingerprints, pictures from surveillance cameras. I see you got no evidence at all. Can't prove anything, girly. <laughs> What a shame. You know what? You can put this whole thief story behind you now and focus on your little horsey riding instead. How's that sound? Go horseback riding, little girly. Now get lost and let me do my job. I'm just standing here. Go on, scram. Ooh, this crook seems unusually crooked, even for a crook. You decide to keep a crooked eye on him and see if you can find out a little bit more. So we're gonna stay hidden. So it says find a hiding spot and keep a lookout because this is just so strange. Should I hide right here behind this tree? Ooh, but there's one right there. I don't know. Oh, there's one coming over here. No, okay, we don't want to hide over here. Okay, uh, never mind, I'm just leaving, just trail riding away. Okay, maybe we'll hide behind here, or maybe over here. Ooh, they're all gathering together. So let's put him up here, because it's gonna be too obvious if I'm riding a horse. So we'll hide my horse in the bushes. Let's hop on off. Okay, keep the puppy with you too. All right, let's see if I can sneak down. So there they are. Okay, he has his head turned. Run, 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 run. Get down there, get down there, get down there. Oop. He almost saw me. What is he doing? He's just standing. Wait, where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he going? What is he doing? He's just standing. Follow the crook. Don't lose sight of him, but don't get too close that he notices you. <gasps> You're too far behind. Get a little closer. Where is he? Where did he go? I don't even see him. You're close to the crook again. Good work. Where, where, where? I don't even see him. Ah, there he is, he's behind me. Oh, do, 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 do. I'm doing nothing but hanging out. There he is right there though. Oh, there he is, there he is. What is he doing, what is he doing? Okay, I have to follow him. Wait a minute, which one is he? He's that one right over there. What is he doing? Careful. Don't let him see me. Don't let him see me. Where is he going? Maybe I can run and hide behind the bush. Hey, wait a minute, there's Honeyheart right there. What is he doing down here? Careful, hide behind the bush. Where is he going? Ooh, careful. Hide over here. Careful, careful, careful. Run, 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 run. Okay, come over here. Don't fall off the boat. He's doing something. What is he doing? Okay, run, 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 run. Ah! He saw me. Is he there? I don't want him to catch me. Is he still there? Where is he? Okay, good. There he is, there he is, there he is. Don't let him see, don't let him see, don't let him see me. Careful. Is he gonna go behind the building? Get over here. Hide behind the box. Boss, we got a problem. There's a girl here who's figured out that the thief is one of us. What should I do? Take care of it? How? I know what to do. You're a smart one, boss. Great idea. <laughs> okay, boss, you can rely on me. It'll all be over soon. We'll have no more worries, and I'll steal her horse. Huh? He turns around, he's seen you! No! No! What is my horse doing over here? No, honey arts, no! Hey, wait! Huh? Get back here. Why should I talk to you? Did you hear that? Did you hear anything I even said? Um, no. Grr. Oh well. Seems there is a thief here at Dark Horse Camp. You were right. I, I was? I could probably use a little help catching him if you wouldn't mind helping. I had a tip off that he'll strike again tomorrow. Come back then and I should have some more detailed information from my secret source about what he's planning. I don't know about that. I think I'm gonna be in trouble. So, I mean, at least he kind of became nice at the end. So let's go take a little break, go for a ride, see if I can go find some mini fans. Ooh, there's somebody over here. Maybe we should talk to this person and see if she's seen anything strange by the docks. Hi, Penny. Hello, hello. Do you have a second? You do? Super duper. My sister Polly and I have ordered a whole lot of jumps and decorations from James that we are going to use to build a pony competition course. Isn't it great? I know ponies are the best, right? Like Farah and Goldie. It has been several weeks since we placed our order with James, and I've seen that he's had a big package there that's been there for a week. It has to be our order, but whenever I try to talk to him about it, he runs away on some errand or another. Can you maybe speak with him and find out what is going on? You can, super duper. Sure, okay, so we're gonna go talk to James, but check out these adorable horses in here. Fresh off of the boat, look at them, how cool. What exactly do we have here? So this cutie, we've got a Yorvik pony, Oh, Oh no, the game crashed. Oh, what about this one? Is this a Yorvik pony too? They're all just so cute. So we've got the little gray one, we've got the silver bay. These are so cute, look at the little Appaloosa. Oh, this one, you only can be level one. Okay, so I could actually get this one. Oh, that one is so cute. And there's this 
one. Oh, I totally want a pony. They are adorable. Look at the coloring on this one. There's so much shading. Okay, I'm kind of loving these ponies. Oh, I don't even know which one I would want. They're so cute. Okay, but first of all, let's go talk to James. So come on, honeyheart, and go talk to him. All right, James, what's going on with this order? Hello, Agata. Are you here to ride my competition for real horses? No? You want to know where the order is? Huh. Yes, I have them, but I can't give the jumps to them. It would be bad for my business, you understand? Okay, Agata, I guess you're right. A deal is a deal. I'm going to lose a lot of money because of their pony competition. I'm sure of it. How about you help me out with a little thing? I will get their delivery ready. Deal? Great. Ride down and take some pictures of the ponies. I'm going to print some postcards and sell them to the tourists. Um, okay, so he wants me to take pictures of the ponies. Alrighty, can do that. They're adorable. They're super cute. I don't mind taking pictures of them. So let's go ahead and check this out. Oh. All right, so we'll take a picture of the Palomino, and of the gorgeous Dapple Gray. Take a picture of you, and of you, smile. All right, should be good enough. Hop on up, and let's go back to James. Whoa, 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 look at there's a horse out in the water. What is that horse doing out there? Where's my camera? I have to take a picture of that. Whoa, it's walking on, running on water. Oh, James is never gonna believe me now. I didn't get a picture. Whoa, that was cool. Hey, James, I saw a horse that was walking on water. Let's see. Oh, you don't have a photograph of it. Well, therefore, it doesn't count. All right, so I got Polly and Penny's order ready. It's ready to go. Okay, so now we're gonna let them know that their order is going to be on their way. Uh-huh, so perfect. So James is gonna deliver it a little bit later. It can be a pony competition. I super duper want one of those Yorvik ponies. They're so cute. James sent our order, great, you're the best. Now it's finally time to put the competition track together. Meet me and Polly at Pony Point, please. We need your help. Pony Point is just behind John Yarrell's tomb, between the tomb and the Silver Song River. Should be around here somewhere. Oh, here they are, Penny and Polly. Okay, so we're going to put the jumps on the course, put up all the sides and break everything up so it's nice and clean. There's a lot to do, but with help, it should go quickly. Could you take the jumps out and put them up? They're so heavy that it would be great if you could take them on your horse. That way, Polly and I won't have to carry them all over Pony Point. Okay, so we can put the jumps up. Okay, so here we go. So we can put one of the jumps here. Whoop, there we go, there's the jump. She said I'd be able to use the obstacle course, but I don't know how to jump yet. There we go. There's another jump and another. Um, am I going to be able to get over that? So I have to go all the way around the jumps. Ugh. There we go. There's another jump. Whoop. There we go. It's kind of in the bushes. Um, they may move that one. There we go. Place that one. And last jump. We'll place right here. Perfect. Placed all of them. They look pretty good. Perfect. This is going to be super duper. Now we can test the racetrack. Speak to Polly. Well, Polly, I don't know how to jump yet, so I won't be able to test it. Are you ready to test out our pony competition? We're excited to see how it goes. I hope it's fun. You need to ride a pony to be able to ride in the competition, but I'm sure you understand that by now, right? I don't know if you've learned to jump with your regular horse yet, but you can ride in the pony competition without jumping at all. The course is easier if you can jump, but we have designed it so both beginners and experts can enjoy the course. Okay, so I won't be able to test out the jumps until I get a pony, which I don't have a pony. I've got Spirit, I have my Mustang, and then I have my Throw a Red. But now seems like the perfect time to buy one of the Yorvik ponies. All right, mini fans, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you join me in the next Star Stable video or in my next video if you are horse crazy and can't get enough of horse videos. I will see you in my next one. Have the most amazing day. Bye, mini fans. Woo! All right, mini fans, who remembers? What color was the fabric from the thief that he left behind? Was it red, yellow, green, or blue? Bye, mini fans.